Hello, this is Zap Fosho coming to you from YouTube. This is my first ever Let's Play video. It's gonna be of Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2 The Rise of the Witch King. Gonna let it play through, let you watch the opening scene. Not like any of you who are Lord of the Rings fans should know it, but here you are, I'll let you watch it. The North Kingdom of Men, ruled by the heirs of Isildur. This land of passion and promise is waylaid by men's inability to set aside petty differences. And so it was that civil strife weakened the Dunedain and broke the land into three realms. Rudor, the smallest and weakest of the Dunedain kingships. Cardolan, guardian of the ancient Barrow Downs where the forefathers of the Dunedain lay entombed. And Arthurdain, the most powerful of the northern realms, still ruled by Isildur's heirs from its capital at Fornost. It was during the reign of the eighth king of Arthurdain that evil began to multiply in Angmar, a twisted, frozen land that lay north beyond the Ethnomores and home of the Black Numenorians. Among them, a sorcerer of great power arose, known only as the Witch King. He has taken up his iron crown for a single purpose, to destroy the Dunedain and their kingdom of Arnor. Alright, hope you all enjoyed that. Um, this is my first Let's Play, I'm experimenting with X-Fire. It's a program used for recording. You'll find a lot of my first videos as I'm making them without the volume in it through xfire.com. I'll post that link down below. Um, this is my first Let's Play, so it's going to be a little bit choppy, but hopefully you'll like it. To unite Angmar's proud and Here's another cutscene, I'll let you guys watch it. Legends say that here in ages past loomed a great fortress of the ancient darkness. Its ruins dark and silent in the mountains. Rebuilding this bastion will secure the Iron Crown's dominion over the Black Numenorians and the Northern Troll tribes. Alright, here we are at the beginning. Yes, I was thinking of doing the original Battle for Middle Earth 2, but I decided to do the Witch King first. Angmar is just so fun to play as. Um, hopefully, you guys all enjoy this. Uh, it's my first Let's Play, so again, if you have any comments, concerns, criticisms, as long as they're constructive, I don't mind them. Just post them below, and I will go through every comment I get as long as I can get to them. Um, I'll do as many as I can a week. It just depends on how busy I get. Um, I always do choose that power. It's usually the better one for the beginning aside from v Vision of the Palantir, but I prefer this one. Um, I'll try to let those stay open more if you guys want. It's just I wanted to give you a quick view of the objectives, what we're trying to accomplish here. Troll of the North. What brings you to this place? Ah, come to kill iron faced men who live in old ruins to north. Keep trolls fighting trolls. Rogash bring trolls together. Take gold and meat from men in green land. Your destiny is at my side. I tend to do a lot of story based play. I tend to prefer the story more than the actual gameplay most of the time. So if you guys have any concerns about that, let me know if you guys want me to skip cutscenes, etc., etc. Um, if you guys want me to put skirmishes up of mine, I can put those up. I'll do other games as well, not just Battle for Middle Earth. Um, just post below which ones you want, and I'll make sure to see if I have it, if I can play it. Um, 
right now I'm only doing PC games until I can get, uh, I'm thinking of either Roxy or Fat, Fraps, just something that will be able to do PS3 as well, um, between that and some of the games that don't accept X-Fire, until I can get a better program, X-Fire is the only thing I can use, um, either that or webcam, and I'd rather not do webcam, um, Webcam could be a little choppy, as well as baseless at best. Um, yes, this is normally how I play. I do it a little faster than most people will. If you guys want me to slow down the, the, what I'm doing, let me know. I'll go a little slower. If not, I can always play this way and keep up the speed just limits the video sizes compared to most. I'll try to do one mission, objective, whatever you want to call it, per. That way, these things can be really long, stemming from five minutes to an hour. So, I mean, if I have to, I'll split them up. If you want me to go slower, I'll go slower. Faster, well, I'll try to go faster. I can't guarantee anything. Um, if we kill their guards, they may join us. Angmar is definitely one of my favorite races. Um, especially with the hill troll snow troll combo. Most, if you try to go against like goblins, humans, if they aren't even remotely prepared for it they'll get slaughtered with ease. Um, yes, I did do the split just to make sure I could do the armies correctly. Oh, if you hear any strange sounds, it's probably my sister's cat causing problems in the background. Also, if you guys love the video, let me know. I'll make more, as well as if you guys love Battle for Metal Earth, let me know your favorite race. It'd be nice to see what other players are playing right now, if they are still playing this game. As you could see, I was kept clicking through the heroes every once in a while. Um, that was just to make sure that if they did or did not have an activated ability, I could right click it and make sure it was on autocast. Nothing else is here. I don't remember this game. It was so long ago that I played the story. Um, if you guys want me to post a list of games I have, let me know. Um, PS3 games, I will post those too. Um, in the links below, I will make sure to put my X-Fire account as well as my um, Facebook if you guys want to add me. Um, I'll create a special Facebook just for this. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them below. If you guys have any tips on my game style, I know I'm not the best, but it's always nice to receive comments. Something that will help me out in the long run. And we can seize it.
If you guys hear the motorcycle, I don't know why, but every time I try recording, there is always a motorcycle in the background. Don't know what it is, just always a motorcycle. For those of you who have not played Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth, on the second game, there is you have to match up the uh, mills, farms, slaughterhouses, furnaces, whatever it may be, with uh, certain locations to make sure they do the most protection. Instead of just um, placing them anywhere, if you place them anywhere, they'll just end up decreasing in production, and they won't be as good as what they could be. We've taken control of this dark iron forge. We can use it to build stone throwers and upgrade our troops with dark iron weapons and You know, armor. something tells me that I'd be better commenting on a scary game. <laughs> um, my next project looks to be Nightmare House 2 if anyone's interested. Um, I'm gonna see if I can use X-Fire on it. If I can't, then it will be delayed a bit. And I'll probably do something along the lines of Diablo 2. If not, I will try to do ha Nightmare House 2 for you guys. Look! Because I know people tend to love scary games on here. Don't let it fall. We have finished building one of our fortresses. Battle is joined. The Witch King's new fortress is complete. And yes, I do build defensive towers instead of more units half the time when I'm playing this game. It's just something that ends up happening, and I end up using them with very good success. Even though I'm short on actual units. I tend not to make direwolves that often, just because they're relatively weak compared to the trolls. And I tend to save my resources up for uh, much better things. Gattle and the fire drakes. Fire drakes was always a fun one to play with. For those of you who have played this game, know that this mission can take a lot longer if you're not rushing through it the way I am. Uh, I've seen it take as much as an hour just trying to get through this mission, trying to make sure everything is spot on. Resources here. I love the way Rogash does that. He's just like point mine now. Started building a fortress. Victory will be mine. These lands shall suffer. All shall kneel before me. Um, for those of you who know this game, it's usually better to set up all your army at one point instead of end this map instead of trying to. Hold it off at, from that, from every fortress. The captive snow trolls here have joined us. At this point, I've pretty much won. Um, I don't see any problems. 
usually there aren't any problems once I get to that point, but um, I've had one mis one time where I accidentally sent just horribly messed up and sent an entire army f heading towards my fortress while I was trying to defend another one. Uh, my brightest move there. But, um, once, as long as you can build up a mass force here, you could generally hold off the Black Numenorians and you don't need to worry about any more problems from them. As you can see, I'm just massing up my army, getting ready for the big battle ahead. Um, hopefully I won't screw up. <laughs> um, eventually, I will try to get through all more series, and hopefully, I'll get lots of subscribers and awesome fans like you guys. And here comes the Black Numenorians. And the Thrall Armies. Makes you wonder, if we have control of the trolls, how are they able to use the trebuchets, which are commanded by the trolls? Reducing, even though I'm at command max. Go my army, go conquer them. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see the cutscenes or would rather just go through it. Um, generally, I prefer cutscenes. I'd rather watch the cutscenes than, um, than just play the missions. It provides a lot more fun to it. And always easy to take care of that. Here's the end of the mission. I'll let you watch the cutscene. Either your lives or your wills are forfeit. Choose now. Your will is ours, Dreadlord, now and forever. You are broken. But I will reforge you into a blade worthy of the Iron Crown. None can stand before the might of anger. And there's now the victory. All of Angmar is united under the Iron Crown. Legions of orcs fight under the command of the Thrall Masters of Angmar. The great fortress at Khan Doom continues to rise. It will make an ideal sanctum for the Witch King to work his fell sorcery. The hammer is forged at last, ready to smite the heirs of Elendil and lay their kingdoms low. Alright, and here is the end. Hope you guys liked the Let's Play. I'll probably...
you guys want me to spend more time on the timeline, I can, but there's not much use to it. But I hope you guys had a lot of fun at this Let's Play. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll, this is Zap Fosho signing out. See you guys next time.